Leo. This is Deb's Deborah Claire channel guidance and I hope you guys are well. Um, Leo, I've just come out of deep meditation with Archangel Michael and you are getting fired up. January for you was a culmination. Well, January for you will be a culmination of you tying up loose ends. Let's just get that out of the way. Okay, so if you have been wanting to sort out a few projects, get things moving again, you know, re-looking at things that maybe you put on the back burner towards the end of last year. Um, I'm recording this at the end of December, so let's say round about now. Um, you are then really wanting to push forward. Now, I have to say that the main energy that came through for you was about career, finances, projects, paperwork, documents, administration, tax, insurance, all of that type of thing, which I know is really boring. But I almost feel as if January for you was you tying up loose ends and getting things organized so that you can finally concentrate on your love life. Because I think for many of you, it's been a bit boring. It's been a bit quiet. OK, we have been through a really difficult 2020. Little did we know. OK, and so I think for you, this is you deciding once I've got things tied up and sorted out, I then can kind of chill out a little bit, relax a little bit, and I can then look at meeting new people. I'm really feeling that is on the cards for you. And I heard the song, Relight My Fire. It's a really old song. I have no idea who it's by. I didn't actually check the lyrics. One of you will probably note in the, um, probably note it in the comments. But I'm just, I was just hearing Relight My Fire. So, but I think that there's a lot of things you need to tie up um, in order for you to feel comfortable enough that you can give yourself a bit of extra time to concentrate on your social life. That's it, Leo. Should we leave it there? <laughs> I'm messing with you guys. You know I am. Oh, okay. One card flipped out. Yeah. Six of Wands, your Leo card, victory and success. So a lot of you are, you know, really moving forward, wanting victory and success. Oh, the cards are flipping. Interesting. Um, determined to get there, but also determined that you're not going to be bogged down. Oh, there's your card again, flipping right out. Look at that. The sun. A lot of you are tying up all these loose ends because you want to concentrate on other things that for you, I feel now, um, you believe are far more important. Like, you know, meeting the right person, getting to know new people, feeling as if you're putting your energies out into the universe to concentrate on expanding your networks, right? So Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. What do we have, please, for my lovely Leos? What does Leo need to know, please, Michael? Thank you. Mm. Archangel Azrael is here. Archangel Haniel. Archangel Metatron. Archangel Sandalphon. Thank you, Michael. I'm deep in thought, guys, because I'm getting a channeled message. Wow. He's saying, pushing away unwanted visitors. Whatever that means, Leo. Maybe you've got a few people kind of knocking on your door. X is coming back. People wanting to reconnect. And it's, I do feel, yeah, Michael's showing me a, a, a woman with a shield, almost like Joan of Arc. You're being very strong, Leo. I mean, that is what you're known for, okay? A lot of confidence and self-esteem to hold your head high and push away people that you know just drain your energy, take from you, wanting your little favours. Can you do this? Can you do that? You know, um, just wanting to be around your aura because you're going to be feeling very powerful, very confident. Um, and people are going to be really sitting up and taking notice of you and noting, noticing also what you've accomplished. And they may be wanting also a little bit of piece of the pie, Leo. So just be careful. You don't have hangers on saying, oh, you know, can you lend me, you know, $100? Can you lend me, you know, whatever this is? Um, I need a little bit of help. Can you, you know... In the nicest sense, yeah, I mean, for many of you, you aren't going to be helping people out because you're kind-hearted souls. But for a lot of you, you're going to be saying, well, I'm sorry, but I've, I've got to pay a huge amount of taxes. I've got to pay huge amounts of bills. So I may be looking as if I'm doing really well, but I've got a lot of outgoings and yeah, can't help. So you're going to be not shy of speaking your truth and Michael saying stop. I'm feeling as if I'm being rushed already. You know, my voice is picking up. I'm talking quite quickly. And there's a sense of just wanting to get things done. I just want to get January kind of out the way so I can then relax. But make sure you don't weigh yourself out, Leo. 
you know, in your need to sort of finish off various things because all in divine timing, you know, some things you're not going to be able to finish in January. Some things will be kind of a work in progress. So look at what you need to really take care of now. You know, if you've got something on the back of your mind that, you know, you wake up in the morning, and you think I've got to get that done. I've been putting it off. It may be doing a little bit of tax return work. It could be, you know, getting some documents through in the post and filling out very boring forms. Get it all out the way in January. Because Michael's telling me February and March are going to be busy socially for you. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, six of wands. Yeah. Okay, my Leos. Oh, wow, that card has come out for so many people. Okay. All right, Leo. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Leo, there's been somebody who has been on your mind that has not really made up their mind about you, not really made a decision. You've kind of been having this person in the back of your mind. They've also been having you in the back of their mind. They're going to be making a comeback, Leo. They're going to be making a comeback to say they've changed. But you're not quite sure you believe them. You're not quite sure. Yeah. I'm laughing. Michael's telling me to say to you, you will be putting them on the back burner. <laughs> okay. Interesting. You're going to be putting them on the back burner. Underneath. <sighs> yeah. Six of wands. Six of wands. Victory and success. Oh, okay. You're taking a leap of faith with an Aries? Possibly. Or are you just feeling free? You know, I'm doing my own thing. I'm young, free and single. I can support myself. Life is good. Seven of Cups in the reverse. You're going to be coming out of confusion, Leo, about someone because there will be a very clear message coming through to you. Knight of Swords. Could be a slightly younger air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We also have, I feel, a fellow fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius, who Michael is telling me is sitting on the periphery of your life and about to make a return. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, let's just shift these a fraction. Sorry, guys. I just want to get these in better camera view for you. Okay. All right, guys. So... There we go. Let's delve in. We start with the Four of Pentacles. Amazing. This has come through in three different readings in a similar type of um, positioning. I'm trying to think which ones they were. Pisces, I think. Possibly Sagittarius. Okay. But we've got the Four of Pentacles. You're not rushing forward, Leo. I almost feel as if for January, you're kind of keeping yourself a little bit isolated. You're getting your heads down and you're actually sorting out issues to do with money, projects, finances. You're also making sure that you save, you don't spend. This could be obviously you needing to make some maybe big purchases in 2021. It could be that you have to pay a lot of money out for something in particular and you're just being very, very careful. You're also keeping a close eye on someone that you don't know what to make of. You're not sure what they really want from you. They're coming through with the King of Wands in the reverse. Now, this is someone who is kind of in the shadows. Michael's putting a big line in between these two cards. Kind of in the shadows. You know they're there. They know that you know they're there. Right? But they're not taking action. They're watching you. They haven't taken action yet, but they are about to. They may be a bit frustrated because you may be keeping yourself to yourself. You may not be going out, being social. 
you know you may not be um connecting with many people because i do feel that january for you leo is going to be sorting out what you need to sort out on a practical basis it's almost as if i know i have to do these things i know they're really boring and again i'm hearing documents paperwork um issues to do with uh maybe taxes something like that something like that paying off a few bills you're going to be very quiet in january because it's almost as if you want to get those things out of the way before you can then move forward and actually really start to enjoy 2021 socially. But this person is watching you. They know that you're hiding yourself away. You may be working very hard. You may just be busy sorting out these documents and whatever this is. But they know that you're there. And they're kind of watching you from the sidelines. In the past, Leo, Six of Pentacles, you did help other people. OK, you could be balancing your own money. You could be spending money on your kids. If you have kids, you were just being really, really proactive, trying to juggle a lot of things, trying to weigh the books. I've got to pay this and then I've this money's coming in and I've got to give to these people. You were very busy. This could be Michael's actually telling me the. Michael. Yes, he's, he's actually telling me the blue moon which I think was the 31st of October last year, you were particularly busy, almost feeling as if you had too much to cope with. You know, a lot of outgoings, um, money coming in, um, siphoning off money for various bits and pieces, helping other people, just super, super busy. Super busy. After that time, with the Ten of Wands in reverse, I think you realised that you had to take a break. I think this is simply for some of you thinking, I am just so exhausted I'm exhausted with working too hard. I'm working too many long hours. I've got too much that I'm thinking about, so I'm not sleeping well. Some of you also may have been eating very late at night. I am actually don't know why. I'm hearing digestive issues. Um, but I feel that it got to the point where you thought, I actually can't carry on at the pace that I'm working. I want to actually start enjoying my life rather than just all work, no play. So whatever this big burden was, you let it go. Now, for some of you, you completely restructured your work so that you could give yourself maybe a full weekend off or at least one proper day off a week for those of you running your own business. I also feel that you managed to take control of two or three things that have been on your mind towards the tail end of 2020, which is, yeah, I'm recording this towards the end of December. So this is you kind of I'm try I've got a word on the tip of my tongue, Michael. Thank you. Breaking the back of something that was really weighing on your mind. Um, you know, I mean, this is you. Maybe, again, I'm hearing documents. I know it's boring, guys. Breaking the back of something, you know, finally figuring out a way around something, sorting out a big issue. It was done. And I feel now you're kind of feeling a little bit more relaxed, but you want to tie up a few things before moving forward. In your thoughts, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, for some of you, there is a big payout. Sorry, there is going to be a big, big payout that you're going to have to make. OK, and so you're hanging on to your money because you know it's coming up. Yes. That's all that's coming through with that card. That's it. This is interesting because I really feel all of this is look at this, all this money. All of this is to do with you sorting your life out before being able to move forward and concentrate on your social life. So your social life now comes into play. Archangel Michael, when do we have the page of wands come in, please? He's just telling me early January. Do we have 3rd of January? Really? 3rd of Jan? Okay. Here we have the page of wands. I don't feel this is you reaching out to someone. I feel this is someone reaching out to you and you sitting in this energy of, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I feel it's this king, it's this king of wands who previously didn't take action. I think this is him taking action. And I think you are going to be sitting in this energy wondering where this may go. Should I reply back? If this person is wanting to see me, 
You know, if they're asking me out, what do I want to do with that? Do I want to meet them? Do I really want to do that? You're contemplating relighting this fire. Thank you, Michael. Hmm. You're contemplating relighting this fire. So this is an ex. Don't want any of you screaming at me. <laughs> this could be somebody you dated and it just fizzled out. This is not necessarily the ex that broke your heart. Okay, guys. But this is someone who is reaching out. What they're going to be saying to you, Leo, is that I changed my ways. And I know a lot of you are sniggering at the screen going, yeah, right. Well, they're coming forward to you with the five of swords in reverse. I know I was selfish in the past. I know that I didn't behave the way I should have done. I'm sorry for what happened. This is someone who may have learned a difficult lesson. And they may have been quietly watching you from the scenes, wondering when is the best time to reach out to the Leo. I think the time is now, as far as they're concerned. So there's a little message that you are pondering. We'll clarify these energies. What you're fearful of is, with the Page of Swords, that either this is going to be a difficult message, you know, this could be somebody that maybe you were interested in before and you may be feeling, wow, the difficult message is they're going to come back to me and say, oh yeah, by the way, I got married or by the way, um, I met someone and I'm having a baby. Do you want to come to the christening? Or by the way, um, I just wanted to know if I could um, come to your house and return, you know, can I pick up the thing that I left at your house six months ago? You're worried what this message may really entail or why, why this person is coming back to you. Maybe some of you are nervous that if there was, you know, passion, romance between the two of you that just didn't work out before, maybe you're worried that they're just reaching out to say, hey, can we be friends? You're very nervous as to why this person is wanting to see you, but they are wanting to see you. They are wanting to see you. And I think they're wanting to see you because, yes, I feel that there may be an apology coming in. Because this is the card of, I don't cheat anymore. I was selfish. I took advantage of people. I took advantage of you. I'm no longer in that mode. And they are wanting to reconnect. So I don't think this is going to be a message that you're not going to want to hear. But I do feel you've got someone who was really keen to maybe get back into your good graces. Maybe a step one. Okay. In your hopes, hoping that whatever this message is, because I feel this is a message that's literally going to say, hey, how are you? We haven't spoken for a long time. And you're going to be going, wow, wow. Why are you reaching out? What do you have on your mind? So I think this is going to be an initial message. There's going to be nothing that gives you any idea as to why this person is reaching out. But they are. So you're hoping with the Four of Swords that this isn't going to be a message that's going to break your heart. Fearing that, oh God, they're going to tell me they got married. They're going to tell me they've got a girlfriend. They're going to tell me they're having children. They're going to tell me they're moving to a different country. You know, the Four of Swords is really not wanting to hear a message that may put you back into heartbreak. Or may make you feel very uncomfortable, disappointed, a bit depressed. For some of you, you're hoping that this person is reaching back out because maybe if this didn't work in the past, you may be hoping this person has changed their ways. If this is someone that messed you around in the past, Leo, you may be hoping that this person is coming back in to say, I miss you. I want to see you. I've been thinking about this and I want to reach out to you to see if you're still interested in getting together with me. Can we reconnect? For some of you, you're hoping this person has been heartbroken and that is why they're coming back to you. Hmm. Leo, the chariot is the final card. I mean, this is you... Try to make a decision as to whether or not you should move forward or whether or not you should let it go. Because this is someone who is ready to move forward, but they're a little bit nervous. They're a bit undecided. 
This is, oh, this is scary. I'm not quite sure. Am I doing the right thing? I don't know. Now, for some of you, for some of you, Leo, you have a choice between two people. Because sometimes the chariot represents a choice between two people. Now, if you had connected with someone, it could be that somebody else turns up and you think, oh my God, I now have a choice, which to many people sounds fantastic, but for you, it's highly stressful because if I make the wrong choice, you know, I've kind of got myself in a bit of a situation. For some of you, simply, you will find yourself connecting with a Cancerian. Clarification on the right-hand side. So we've got the two of wands. You are standing at crossroads and you may, for some of you, be trying to make a decision about two people or you're literally standing at crossroads thinking, I don't know if I really want to move forward with this person who's got back in touch. And the reason being with the nine of wands, you have struggled with a connection. You've been drained. It sapped the energy out of you. This is you feeling, I just don't think I can go back into that energy again. For some of you, you are purely, literally just very tired from having to sort out a lot of things in your life. You know, maybe you're not sleeping well, maybe you're just super tired from work and you don't have the energy to mess around with somebody who just wants a quick fling. You know, you either come into my life wanting something relatively serious or I just don't have the time to mess around and flirt a little bit and see you every other Friday. No, I don't want that. You know, it's a waste of time. So you're standing at crossroads, wondering whether or not this connection or the situation with somebody coming back in and you have to then choosing, you then having to choose between two people, you're hoping that whatever happens, it's not going to drain you. Because I think that's the main thing, Leo. You're very, very tired. Very tired. Now, what is interesting is whoever is coming in may, may, for some of you, be coming in to tell you that they've ended a marriage. This is the ending of a legal contract. And they see you, maybe they've always seen you as the Queen of Cups, loving, warm, giving, nurturing. So this could actually be somebody kind of nudging open the door, wanting to reconnect with you because they are newly single. For some of them, they have ended a connection with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If this is your energy, Leo, you could have water in your chart. You're looking at the card of justice in the reverse, which could be you worried that if you give love to a situation, you know, because Leo, when you give, you give all of your heart, you give all of your time, you just pour love and energy and attention into the person that you're with. You do. That's just you. You're very protective. You want to make sure everyone's happy. You run around on other people's behalves and, you know, you do a lot for other people. But you know it drains you. You know it drains you. So this is you thinking, am I going to completely move into a place of unbalance? Am I just going to be all over the place, not able to have the time for work, and not able to have any me time if I give love to this connection? This could be simply you thinking, well, this person wants to come round two or three times a week and every weekend together, but I don't have the time. Is it going to affect my work schedule? Because justice can be a legal contract, you know? Am I going to have to push work away because I'm trying to fit in a social life here? Very interesting energy, Leo. Interesting. Let's um, see what comes through. Archangel Michael, what is the Page of Swords, please? Ooh. What is the Page of Swords? Wow. We have a comeback around, Leo. Yeah. Six of Cups. This is a return. This is somebody who wants to reconnect with you. This is someone you might have felt a soul connection with. They want to heal 
a situation with you, Leo. Now, this is either somebody who knows hurt you and they want to get back into your good graces, or this is someone who has been very hurt in a situation that they have been in and they're reconnecting with you because they feel that you're very warm, loving and giving. But again, this could be somebody that wants your energy, wants your time, wants your love, wants your affection. So make sure that this person isn't going to sap you of that lovely energy. With the two of pentacles in the reverse, this is somebody who is trying to make a decision or has made a decision rather to come forward to you and talk to you because they want to mend those bridges. King of Cups in reverse. Now this can be somebody who is manipulative. I actually don't feel that. I think this is somebody who's very unbalanced and they've missed you and they're coming back in to see what your reaction is. This could be a fire sign with water in their chart, a water sign with fire in their chart. Or you could be in a situation where you are at this time already in a connection with a fire sign and you have a water sign coming back in. For some of you, that is true. Archangel Michael, what is the fire of swords in reverse? Now, this is this person's actual energy, okay? Wow. I'm feeling very strong Pisces or Pisces, Pisces moon, Pisces moon. Okay. Okay. Wow. All of those. All right, people. The world. This person has ended a cycle. This person could have ended a long term situation or well, they're wanting to start a new cycle with you. And it could be that they initially reach out over the World Wide Web. High priestess. So, Leo, they look at you as somebody very intuitive. They could feel a very strong telepathy with you. But this is somebody that you may not have spoken to for quite a long time. Again, Pisces energy. Interesting. With the, with the Wheel of Fortune, this is someone who feels that they had to wait for divine timing, but they feel divinely connected to you. Wow, look at these major arcana. Again, Pisces energy. The hangman in reverse, somebody has detached from a situation that they were stuck in. Somebody's also had a wake-up call. And that wake-up call may well be, I'm supposed to be with my Leo. What am I doing? Yeah. We have someone coming in offering you love. They could have left behind a fire sign. They could have ended it with a fire sign. Or they see your energy, Leo, as this, which is somebody maybe a little bit guarded, a little bit bitter. Why the hell are you coming back to me? They're not quite sure of your reaction. But again, I mean, there's a lot of love and passion here, Leo. We have the King and Queen of Wands. We have the King and Queen of Cups, you know. Four of Cups in reverse. I feel as if they want you to give them a second chance. Or well, this is somebody who may have pushed you away because they were in a connection with somebody else. They're coming back in. They're coming back in because they've ended a long-term situation. They could have been married to a Taurus or they've ended a situation and they feel this very spiritual connection with you and they're coming back in to reconnect. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the chariot? This is you, Leo, needing to make a decision. What decision is Leo going to make? That one is poking out. Wow, there's a decision. Okay, so what decision are you going to make, Leo? That way, okay. Wow. Yes, okay. What decision is Leo going to make? Yes. Strength. Okay, definitely your reading, guys. So you're going to be thinking about things. You're going to be holding yourself back. You're going to be weighing up this opportunity is what is channeled through. You're not going to be rushing. You're going to be holding back, taming the lion, so you possibly won't be intimate with this person. 
You're going to be spending some time getting to know them, talking to them. Maybe if you haven't connected for a long time, you're going to be catching up on what they've been through. What, you know, you're going to be using your intuition. What are you actually doing back in my life? Do you want to just be friends? Are you thinking about romance? Are you are going to be finding out. But this is somebody with a lot of self-esteem and a lot of self-confidence. You know you're worth, Leo, and you're standing your ground. You're not going to be rushed. You will need to make some kind of decision. The divine is saying, Leo, we are asking you to make a very important choice in your life. We're bringing this person back to you. And we want to know whether or not you feel it's the right time to accept this person back. That's what I feel this is. Goodness. So we have the star. So we could have an Aquarius coming in. But this is... The card that represents healing. This could be you deciding to heal a connection with somebody that you've known in the past. Maybe because you feel in the next few months you'll be getting to know each other a little bit more. Maybe again, reconnecting. Understanding what they have accomplished in the last few months, maybe the last few years. But this is also a wish fulfilled, Leo. So you could feel that even though you're a bit nervous about moving forward, you could feel intuitively this was actually what I hoped for. This was my dream come true. There will be an exchange of emotion, an exchange of affection. This could also be an apology from someone. Can we heal this? Can we take it slowly? Are you going to let me back into your life? We have the Emperor. So we have the energy of Aries. We have somebody taking control and moving forward to express their feelings and to heal this with you. Goodness. Ace of Pentacles. This is the opportunity to start getting to know this person again. This could be dating. This could be you deciding to move forward with this person, but very, very slowly. I mean, this looks like a very big offer of commitment. It's not because it's just the start. An ace is just the start, but it could grow and blossom and develop into something quite exciting and quite stable. And we have the sun. Of course, another card of Leo. This is enlightenment. This is happiness. This is forward movement. This is progress. This is you sitting in the energy of enlightenment. This could be something that you dreamed of and wished for, Leo, and you felt was never going to happen. But you will have to make some kind of decision. For some of you, you're going to have to end a situation with one person to be able to bring this person back into your life. For others of you, the decision you're going to have to make is, I'm going to have to seriously cut back on my work schedule, simple as that, to allow me to have the time to bring this person into my life again. Because maybe, Leo, you, you might be realising that it's been all work, no play. And you need to actually make some serious practical changes to give yourself the time to enjoy this beautiful energy. Because I feel, looking at these cards, this is divinely guided. Okay, my Leos, let's just delve quickly into the White Rose Guidance Love Messages deck. Archangel Michael, can we have a couple of cards? Okay. Yeah. All right. So what have you got? <clears throat> wow. Wow. Very interesting. We have kind of an expression of feelings, I think, from your person. Make of it as you will. I can't face you right now. The intensity between us scares me. So I think this person may have headed off in a different direction because of this intensity, which of course could very well have been a soul connection. But I think this is how they have been feeling and they've now faced their fears and they will be coming back. Because I tried to stop these feelings, but now you are burning hotter and brighter than ever within me. Leo, they never forgot you burning hotter and brighter. And they want to experience that feeling again. Thank you for your beautiful presence in my life. This is somebody who is appreciating you. This is somebody who wants to spend time with you. This is somebody who has just really, really missed you. 
And I think for some of you, this is going to be your wish come true. So Leo, I'm leaving it there. A really beautiful reading, taking care of you, take care of you rather, and we'll connect again soon. Bye now.